four, three, two, one. Welcome everyone to the 2024 Elder Scrolls Online Global Reveal. Today, we'll share all of the details of our 2024 plans, including ESO's new chapter. We're celebrating our 10 year anniversary over 15 months in 2024 and 2025. Expect community events around the globe. We announce I will be in Amsterdam. So if anyone happens to be going, it would be great to see you. ESO's newest chapter features everything that makes ESO special. Exploring a region of Tamriel well known to Elder Scrolls fans, telling an amazing story that goes deep into the lore of the region, and adding a new gameplay with a system called Scribing. Scribing. To customize some of their abilities. More customization. It's place on the borders of Cyrodiil, Gold Coast, and Valenwood. So it's that bit in the middle. Enjoy and see you in Tamriel. Gold Road. Who's this? More cultists. And that's what the autumn leaves meant that they sent me. It's why I'm covered in autumn leaves. I'm glad it did have some significance. Otherwise, I would have looked like an idiot. We've got the three heroes from the different alliances. And what is this star? Can I have it? They look very HD. Look at the pause on their faces. And they're off on an adventure together. Which normally they're fighting each other if you see them in a cutscene. Or at least like spying on each other, trying to sabotage each other. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And he let go of the staff to save the other hero. That means we really are friends. The power of friendship. Hello. <laughs> the wings? Crystalline wings? And just crystals are fine. And a Daedric symbol? Skingrad then. It's a Skingrad. And I think that was her again. Ooh! Logo reveal! Oh! Okay, it makes sense now because they tweeted it without it glowing, but now it's lit up. I'm Gina Bruno, ESO Senior Community Manager. Hi, Gina. Hey, everyone. I'm. Hey, Rich. Which wearing pants? It's amazing how much we've done, and it certainly doesn't feel like 16 years have passed already. 16? 10 since the launch, but they were working on it before. This year, we're inviting players to venture into a Colovian region known as the West Weald. And this that little, the yeah, of Cyrodiil to the north, sandwiched in between. And many Elder Scrolls players will probably recognize this location from Test 4 Oblivion. Yep. We're doing something we've never done before in ESO, and we're introducing a whole new Daedric Prince. Yep, really if cool. you didn't know. It focuses on the return of a forgotten prince named Athelia. And it was great to be able to work Athelia. with to bring our vision for <gasps> So that is her. her life. And we think folks are going to love what we've created. I love her already. I mean, she has some some gray vibes. She could be evil or she could be good. We don't know. There's something else arriving with the Gold Road chapter that Matt touched on that our players have been yes. asking about for a long time, and that's scribing. Yes. Please explain more. Scribing is a way for players to customize their character build. Even more. Our take on a precursor to the spellcrafting systems from previous Elder Scrolls games. So it's not spellcrafting, guys, but it's similar. The great granddaddy of spellcrafting. With scribing, players tap into the fundamental elements of magic by unlocking special skills that they can then customize in many different ways. You'll be able to change things like the way a skill interacts with the world, its unique effects, and more. There's also many ways to customize these unique abilities, allowing players to further tailor their builds to their unique needs. Mm. So let's kick things off with the lead for this zone, Ed Stark, who is going to share more about the new chapter's main storyline, including what I the know. Forgotten Prince. How? How are they forgotten? Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm that is an excellent moustache, Ed. The Westweald region lies just east of the Gold Coast. So we are getting some wood elfy stuff as well, because it's on the, the border of Valenwood too. Sweltering jungles replaced a third of the Westweald seemingly overnight. Ooh. Laramil the Wise, 
an ally of Hermaeus Mora is back. Mmm, Hermi Mori getting involved again. Laramil reveals that scions of Athelia are searching the Westworld for her. They believe that the Forgotten Prince had some connection to the aliens who once dwelt in the ancient ruins scattered throughout the zone. These scions hey. are desperate to help Athelia recover her memories and powers and show no mercy to anyone who gets in their way. It's been a very long time in any Elder Scrolls game since we delved into the nature of a new Daedric Prince. Yeah, it's a big move, making a new Daedric Prince. How indeed can a Daedric Prince be forgotten? Mm. How can you, the adventurer, counter Athelia's effect on the West Weald? I feel like Athali is going to end up being good. I'm not going to tell you. There's Baragon, ex-adventurer hey. and brother to Evely Sharp Arrow. He wrote me a letter. Hey. A brash Clovian centurion working for Count Calantius. I say, I say. Outside the main story, My boy. we're bringing back the vampire Fenorian of Yay, the Ravenwatch. Yay, a fan favorite. Khajiit investigator Mizik Thunderboots. Thunderboots, and a few very good. other fan favorite allies to also help you in your journeys. Can we have Breadman come back? I miss Breadman. Hey, everybody. Hey. I've met CJ. He's a cool dude. This will be the first time you can return to this bountiful part of Tamriel since the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. So a little bit of nostalgia coming in, which always serves them well. The new zone features three unique biomes. Dawnwood! Dawnwood! <laughs> I like this. It is home to the region's capital city, Skingrad, the bustling center of... We haven't seen Skingrad for ages. Towards the southwest, you can find the Dawnwood. Thank you. Best wood ever. This area is now home to the encroaching jungles of nearby Valenwood. Encroaching? Excuse me. Inhabited by advancing wood elves from the Lots south. Lots of wood elf stuff. Good, good. In the north of the West Weald lies the Clovian Highlands, a mountainous region that is home to an imperial settlement and numerous alien ruins. Ooh, I love the alien stuff, so anytime I see that, I'm happy. Highlights of orange, red, and yellow. What is that? I want it immediately. Classic Colovian architecture inspired many of the zone's structures. However, the Colovian Imperials of the West Weald are wealthy and cosmopolitan, so the art team imbued some high-end motifs and designs throughout. That city feels very high aisle, you know, like all the well-to-do nobles. You'll encounter many alien ruins of various sizes and shapes, and have an opportunity to delve deeper into this part of Tamriel's ancient history. We don't know too much about the alien. We got to have a little fun here as we consider these alien ruins less spoiled yes. than other similar locations you may already have visited. The dense, humid forests of neighboring Valenwood seem to have taken over a significant portion of the Westweald practically overnight. It's very fairy tale, like the, the thorns and the roots going through the houses. While the land itself is changing, it is also under attack from a host of new unfamiliar foes. Daedra, never before seen in the Elder Scrolls. And they've all got these like crystally skins. Born and so, aspects of Athelia that herald from the- Yeah, th they're from Athelia. And Athelia's realm is Miramor. Hmm. I always love when we can share behind the scenes info about all the research and care that goes into creating a new zone. Can we see more concept art, please? In previous chapters, we've added new classes like the Necromancer and most recently the Arcanist. I figured there wouldn't be a new class because like it's too soon since Arcanist. Play your way. My God, her voice. She has such a lovely voice. Primaries determine the main effect of the skill and its resource cost but perhaps you're more of a ranged healer character. Keep it ally focused and customize Vault with a heal primary ooh, and ooh, add ooh. either a heal over time or stamina recovery secondary for any allies in that area of effect. But there's three? Okay. When Gold Road and Scribing launch, we'll also be adding a select number of skill styles. These styles are color variants of popular abilities from weapon, guild, and world skills. Like Wall of Elements, we'll have a new purple version, <gasps> Trap Beast, purple Orange, Wall of Elements. and Mage Light, a green option, so that when oh, you equip those oh. abilities, you'll be able to select. Oh, so purely cosmetic, okay. All of these skill styles will be earnable as in-game rewards. They're not gonna cash shop it. That's good. How does this work though? Because like, if they're adding a whole thing to customize your abilities and you can only do it when you got the chapter, how? We know just how important fashion is to our community. I like some fashion. The Elder Scrolls Online Gold Road on June 3rd. Okay, expected because that's around the normal time that they release. There is a lot coming this year. We're kicking things off in March with Update 41 and our newest dungeon DLC pack, which okay. includes two new dungeons, Oathsworn Pit and Bedlam Vale. 
These two dungeons will have you explore a training ground for the followers of Malakath and a secret vault within the demi realm Ooh. of Maelstrom. And these dungeons will be available in normal and veteran modes. And oh god, that thing looks terrifying. I hate it. Update 43, which is scheduled to arrive in August, with some pretty exciting features, including something housing related. That's mysterious. What else could they add to housing? But to all our PvP minded players, you might want to pay particular attention to this update. There you go, PvPers. You're always shouting in my comments and in the chat about how there's not enough new PvP stuff. But there you go, it's coming. Let's find out more about the various additions and pre-purchase rewards for the- Statue, statue. If Ethelia, the new Daedric Prince, has a statue, instant buy. Please give us one of those like Somerset Hi, everyone. statues. I'm Jess Folsom. Jess! Joined by my fellow community manager, Kevin Bully. Hey, Kevin. Depending on your history with the Elder Scrolls Online, there's bound to be an edition of Gold Road that suits you. Oh, I love the artwork. It's so pretty. Both the Gold Road upgrade and collection are also available in deluxe editions, which includes a bounty of additional in game items okay. themed around the West Weald and Skingrad regions. Like another well -well looking a thing. Pet, Memento, outfit style, I like the memento pack, as well. and first of its kind mount. It's it's a well while looking thing, but with a scorpion tail. Oh, but this mount, yes please. That's more my style. And he leaves a trail of leaves, I mean. I must have it. If you pre-purchase Gold Road, you'll get instant access to this Aww. matching wolf pup pet. Aww. You can get a first look at these new dungeons and update 41 by helping us test it all on the PC and Mac. PCS 29th, that is really not far away. If you'd like to check out some of ESO's past DLCs and chapters for free, then now is your chance. With there the are so many of them. Like when you see them all laid out like that, you realize how much they've done. And of course, the fan favorite Jester's Festival. Yes! Starting right now with the Guilds and Glory celebration, you can earn the Moloch Ball Illusion Imp Pet. Isn't he lovely? He's such a cute little chappy. We can't wait for you to join us as we celebrate 10 amazing years of the Elder Scrolls Online together. All right, so let's recap. Okay. I need notes. <laughs> this includes a new zone, the Colovian region known as the West Weald, which is a storyline that features the return of a forgotten- I love Athelia already. Half of chat was like, waifu! She might be evil, guys. Come on. Thank you for watching. That new Ouroboros, though. Ooh. Hmm. I can't wait to worship Athelia for the rest of my life. I love how they show like two seconds of this woman and chat is already simping for her. They're like, I don't, I don't care. Like, I don't care if she's an evil character. I don't care if she's good. Like, I will serve her. She is my Daedric princess.